everybody should be doing some form of a diagnostic. Hello, everyone. I'm Shannon Lee, the Director of Coaching at Win Without Pitching, and I'm back with you today to answer another Ask Me Anything question. This question comes from Mike, and it's about diagnostics. Let's hear what he has to say. Okay, well, hello. Uh, I'm a big fan of Win Without Pitching so far. Uh, I'm halfway through it. Uh, I'm particularly interested in the diagnostic process, and if you have examples of the kind of diagnostic process that you go through with potential clients. And if there's kind of some set questions that you would recommend, obviously we can think of our own, but it'd be interesting to see what other people have done. Um, yeah, that's it. Other than that, keep up the great work. I'm loving it so far. Thank you so much for the question, Mike. It's a great question. We love diagnostics. We view them as tools that you can use in the sale in the form of a free diagnostic to gather and collect information that might help inform the sales process and the conversations that you have. And we also encourage the use of a paid diagnostic. We think everybody should be doing some form of a diagnostic once they kick off with a client because you cannot prescribe solutions or recommend strategies until you diagnose the problem itself. And so let me break it down a little further. When we think of a paid diagnostic in the sale, it may come in the form of a gap analysis, uh, voice of the customer research, uh, establishing a baseline for metrics. Maybe it's a brand audit, a communications audit to see where inconsistencies are across the brand, for example. And it's a way also in the sale to take a small first step together in the form of a paid diagnostic if that client-to-be isn't ready to hire you for the full engagement, or if it's not a slam dunk for you, if you don't feel you have the information needed to really create a proposal with appropriate solutions. And so what you would do in that case is <clears throat> recommend a small first step together in the form of a paid diagnostic, and you would outline very clearly what will happen, what they're on the hook for in terms of time commitment, what the outcomes will be, and once you're done performing the diagnostic, your next step is to meet with that client, talk through the learnings, the findings, and the strategic recommendations going forward, and present a three-option, one-page proposal. You'll learn more about that if you decide to keep the journey going after reading the manifesto and purchase pricing creativity or come into one of our pricing boot camps. And so that's a little bit about paid diagnostics. Now, unpaid diagnostics are also a very cool marketing tool, I think, and also a really interesting sales tool. And it may come in the form of a needs assessment, for example. Let's say you get a call from a client and they say, hey, we love what you're doing. Let's get together. Let's meet. Well, don't jump just to meet, right? Qualify them first and do a behavior check. See if, in fact, they are serious about getting to know you better and wanting to potentially hire you and ask them, hey, yeah, we'd be happy to sit down and have a conversation. But first, I would love for you and your team to fill out this needs assessment so that we can get a better sense of what's happening across the organization and hear different viewpoints from different key stakeholders that would be involved in this initiative. That way, you're co uh, collecting great information back that may drive an agenda for that next meeting. And over time, if you do enough of these needs assessments, a, a free form of a diagnostic, you might be collecting some great intelligence about what's happening across the client type. It may drive ideas for marketing content. All sorts of things can come as a result of diagnostics. So there's a little bit for you on both paid and non-paid diagnostics. I hope it helps. And thanks so much for the question today. And for the rest of you out there, Keep the questions coming. I love to be as helpful as I can and answer some of these things that are on your mind as you're absorbing and consuming some of our content. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the uh, Ask Me Anything uh, subscribe button, and you'll also get notifications when new videos are posted. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Cheers.